All right, it's Dead Space. The remake. I believe that is the full title of the game. And this time I'm not going to say any curse words in the first minute of this video. Or stream. I'm not going to say any curse words until later. I can do it. As a New Yorker, I can do it. I'm telling you. Uh, so I played the original Dead Space 1 and 2. Never played 3. Don't need to. I think I'm okay on that. But I like pulping. It's awesome. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Strange. Such a little thing. That's cool. We're gonna talk about the previous yeah. Dead Spaces. First we're gonna talk about weeks. Callisto Protocol. Five minutes out, you still got that thing on repeat? And we're gonna shoot really necromorphs in the face. This so I'm excited. Job you turned down, but six months apart with only vid calls. It's rough. Easy to say the wrong thing. I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over Hamlin reciting security protocols. Forewarned is forearmed, Miss Daniels. So you keep saying. Here we go. Nice clean re-entry. Same VA from two and three. I see. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis Seven is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Now where is she? So I heard this was very good, and so I'm excited because I love Dead Space right? One. It is probably the best Resident Evil Four I ever played outside of Resident Evil Four. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see her running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's I don't remember Isaac place. talking in Dead Space be 1. Be careful on the approach. I'm not taking any chances with the CEC's pride and joy. Oh, he didn't chances, in 1. Huh? Okay. Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? You track your file access? I'm a computer analyst. It comes with a job. I ran standard CEC background checks, Ms. Daniels. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <clears throat> Sir, we're in hailing range. I like that Isaac is just some dude. This is the emergency maintenance team of it reminds me of Alien. It's all just people, like, working. Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is a USG Kelly. You ever hear of a full communications black on a one of these things? Never. Come on. Someone pick up the damn phone. Yeah, that's just some dude. Sounds like their communication array is busted. Pretty Maybe good, um, 3D modeled yeah, faces. I can it in 48 hours, Max. Hey, that gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Looks like Adam Sandler. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson. No, nah, it just looks like some dude you'd see at the local pub. Gravity tethers engaged. Automated docking. Here's a go. I'm losing control. Oh well, he said the fuck word. Now I can, I guess. Right? It's been how is it been long enough? Shit, we're coming in too hot. Alert the smash into the hall. Check! Aim for that emergency stabilizer. There! The blue light! It might slow us down! Got it. Jump the flash shield. Everyone break yourself. His face is modeled after the VA. Oh that's nice. Again, I like that it's just some dude and not like Giga Chad Alpha Hero. I like Giga Chad Alpha Heroes too. You know what I mean? Like, plenty of games do that really well. Yeah, rubbing cream on my balls. Like that guy. Gotta always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Comfort down. We lost poor booster. Got a fire in one of the stabilizers and singularity cores of a mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kelly. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. Visually, game is great. 
so far. Very much enjoying the graphics. I mean, this was one of those games where I was like, I was like, do we need a remake? Same as, as Resident Evil 4. I was like, the game still looks good, and with some mods, you can make it look incredible. So, I was skeptical. It's like hell. But I've had worse. You go on. I'll get it strapped up. Um, this was obviously a more recent, the original of this was more recent than Resident Evil 4. So it's like, do we need a remake? And to me the answer is no, however, EA, like, ran this series into the ground, so this gives me hope that maybe more of this kind of shit will be created. Dead Space 2-2. Two, two. Listen, if they had someone read that to me, like an audiobook, I would have loved that. There's that DLSS shimmer. Do I need DLSS if I have a 4080? You know, it, it does make it a little smoother. It definitely makes it a little smoother. I'll just keep it on quality mode. Put it go. Maybe it was in my head. Oh well, done, this, this is fine. Vinny, do you think we'll get a Final Fantasy VII remake in like 50 years? Try 10. Mm -hmm. At least we didn't take out the sign. After they're done with the trilogy of remakes, they're gonna start a new series of remakes. But yeah, I've been saving this game for Halloween time, for October. I've, I've been interested in this since it came out, but... You know, and then Resident Evil 4 Remake, which was a, another amazing thing. A little contentious for some, but I enjoyed it quite, quite a bit. Rig synced. Collect Kinesis and Stasis modules from Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. Location? Error. Employee not found. I can't read security. There also is Cal Callisto protocol. We can talk about that soon. It's funny how things flipped because people were like, oh, Callisto protocol is the good one because it's the original Dead Space creator. That's the one that's going to be awesome. And the evil empire is looking for money with their Dead Space remake. That was my, like, initial feeling about the two. And then I played Callisto Protocol, and you know, it was a kind of a drudgery, sludgerous experience. It was fine. I didn't hate it, but it didn't do anything to keep me around. There's nothing logged. No duty roster. No power to the elevator. For God's sake. That security console is still working. Isaac, get a damage report. I'm done playing around. I know, but you want me to read this, or do you want me to do the damage report? Does anyone else smell that? Smell what? Like something died in the air vents. Oh. Imagine a world where basic resources like fuel, ore, metals, and ice are hard to come by. Imagine if humanity's needs were entirely dependent on the nearly extinct resources of Earth and the dwindling supplies of colonies. Can Older readers don't need to imagine such a world. You lived it less down. than a century ago. Looking to the stars for additional resources was nothing new. 
But at the time, the only uh, shock point capable ships were smaller vessels that could barely keep up with demand. Enter the Ishimura. Named after the celebrated astrophysicist and inventor of the shock point drive, Hideki Ishimura, the USG Ishimura was the first of the massive planet cracker ships. Built in 2446, she has enjoyed a long and storied career. The Ishimura was the first vessel of her size to utilize shock point drive Shut up! for large-scale commercial deep space expeditions. At her inception, the Ishimura was hailed as the savior of the colonies. She was created to mine and process asteroids and even small moons with remarkable efficiency. She was also the first ship capable of pioneering scan-and-catch technique for harvesting mineral-rich asteroids. Utilizing huge gravity tethers, the Ishimura could lock onto asteroids and pull them inside the ship's massive collection bay for quick and efficient smelting. At 62 years old, the Ishimura is still a remar in remarkable shape. Her equipment has been upgraded over the years, and many of her interior spaces have been retrofitted to take advantage of current technological advances. Despite so many long years of service, she remains the pride of the CEC fleet and is still the company's largest planet cracker. Whenever a vital deep space mining project requires skill, experience, and dedication, the Ishimura is ready to answer the call. It is ships like the Ishimura and the dedication of men and women who crew her that built the Concordance Extraction Corporation into the trusted, dependable resource provider it is today. What do you need me to do? Try that security console. Oh my God. Why don't you try it? Something on the floor here. Set. I I need that damage report. Oh my God! Another settlement needs your help. Oh God, that smell. What have you got, Isaac? Shit! It's not just comms with the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the tramps. Who could do that kind of damage to a planet crack? Okay. We talked about down. Event Horizon when I streamed the first game, the non-remake version. Activated. I, I kind of love that movie. No, the quarantine systems are all fine. Oh, wait, do you hear that? Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah, and this takes a lot of inspiration from that. There's something in here with us. Up there! Oh, God! Oh. No! Daniel, get the door open! God, I love the necromorphs. They're so fucked up. We're leaving. It's my favorite line in Event Horizon. Larry Fishburne watches a, a screen of horrible things happening, somewhat like this, and he's just like, we're leaving. Okay, so the visuals here are amazing. The necromorphs look great. Um, this isn't a one-to-one -one remake, right, chat? It's like retooled a little bit, the same way Resident Evil 4 is. It's close, but there's some changes. It's like 1.2 to 1. Okay. What engine is this? I'm not getting any answers. I'm not getting any real answers. Frostbite. Cut off their limbs. Dead Space remake. Made in dreams.
Um, someone in chat said, Vinny, thoughts on Sony increasing the price of the PlayStation 5? What are you talking about? Oh, the PS5 Slim? Wait, so is the PS5 Slim um, more expensive? Because they said they're going to um, discontinue the, the PS5 once they're out of stock. It's $500 and $450 for digital instead of $400. I mean, it's still going to be big. I heard it's 30% less big, but... PlayStation is a huge console. Maybe they call it PS5 Slim because the game library is very slim. Easy joke there, folks. Don't worry about it. I have a PS5. I wish I didn't have to say that. But I probably wouldn't be playing very many games on the PS5 anyway if they're on PC as well, so... But yeah, um, I saw the Slim. I didn't realize there was a price increase. But, what can I say, chat? If you like Final Fantasy VII Remake, then that's the system for you. Stomp for funny swearing? Okay. Oh, by the way, uh... Wait. That's wonderful. By the way, this game is gory as fuck. I don't know if you could see that. people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair tech. So how do we do this? Wow. Powerful. There's a broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system. And the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's the doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. I always love the menus in Dead Space. So yeah, um, Dead Space 1, I believe, was my favorite, but 2 was really good as well. It leaned a little bit more action, but that was before pulping became awesome. For those that don't know, pulping is awesome is an actual Dead Space thing. I became obsessed with that phrase because the creator of Dead Space 3 was forced at gunpoint by EA to do an interview where he was like, I like pulping things, it's awesome. Pulping is really cool. Oh, in this game, you can pulp. You can just pulp enemies over and over again. Like, they were advertising Dead Space 3 
based on the idea that people wanted to pulp. Ugh. Oh, hang on. I have a little delay on my microphone. Hang on. I did that to sync up video. Uh, let me just turn that down to zero. Okay. Can you remove film grain? It's very light. Okay, right click plus C. Didn't I die in Dead Space 1 by walking into this door? Reading a door malfunction between you and the maintenance bay. Can you fix it? No, but I found a stasis module. I'm faster than... I got it. I've learned my lesson, chat. Oh, I thought about doing it again to be funny. But I'm sure we'll see plenty of pulping soon enough. Don't worry. Is motion blur still on? Does this look even better? I usually go down to very low motion blur because I feel like it can help. Not every game's motion blur is terrible. Some games actually do have per object motion blur, which is a lot better, and sometimes they're a little more subtle. And some games just smear a little, like, tub of Vaseline on your on your eyeballs. Vinny, can you turn the textures off? Vinny, can you turn the game off? Also, Mike told me about um, a Vinny derangement syndrome thing where people saw me in like a cloud or in like fire. Like he paused the video and people saw my face in fire. Are, are you guys okay? Vinny Paradolia. Alright. Chat told me to do it. Someone said, I see Vinny's face everywhere. What must I do? I can just see it now. Like, like a cartoon of people like chat, Twitch chat member looking up into the clouds. And Mad World, the, the Donnie Darko version plays. All around me are familiar faces. Looking into a tree, seeing my face, the cloud is a face. Looking into the eyes of a stranger, it turns into my face. And like the face has become more and more dubiously me until it's just some like blob of flesh that has like no resembling features to me whatsoever. It's a mad world. Isaac, don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. The only way is hacking them apart. Those arms, their legs. Does that even kill them? Or do they just stop moving? You know what I like about this game? Every other game I play, I click heads. Not dead space. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy clicking heads.
but it's nice to have something a little different. Vents into engineering. You got a stasis module handy? We need one in tram maintenance stat. The autoloader's fried. I got a damaged tram car on the tracks, and if the whole system's gridlocked, guess who they're calling? Temple here, sending a stasis module now. What happened to the autoloader? Loading system no idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down. I keep hearing things. Down in the gears where, where no one can see. Please contact Chat, when did I play Dead Space on stream, the original? Was it four years ago, three years ago? 2019, was it? Twenty eighteen. Wow. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Someone said, dude, pay attention to the game. I am. I saw that dude's head wobble. But that was a, you know... It came from behind me. No amount of paying attention would have fixed that. My reaction time was as good as it could have been, I think, for an old man. Engage those claws. Disengaged. Any luck moving that tram car? The autoloader's busted, but Stasis should do the trick. Just gotta time it. Great, but hurry, okay? Sound care is down here. Right loader claw engaged. Replacing damage. I'm a genius. Vinny, when did you start calling yourself old? When I turned 18. And then before that, when I turned three. Oh my god. Oh! Oh man, the fucking necromorphs look really good. And I see there's like different types of of the the main one. You got it. The tram was jamming the whole system. That's one down. You said a data board was fried too? Inventory says there's a spare board in the maintenance bay. We can't run the trams without it. They look kind of goofy. They're a little goofy. They are a little goofy. That's a little goofy. I wonder if... Any game, uh, any objects in this game have, um, forbidden DLSS qualities. I, I don't know why I couldn't say that sentence.
Is this correct? Am I... Should I be going back this way? What's the objective marker button? Security clearance required. Thank you. That was a big help for Quake 2 as well. Quake 2 remake. Oh, cool map. Okay. I like the way this map works. Man, in a year of amazing video games, I wonder if anyone has, uh, whoa. Did you see that? It was forbidden meat. Um, I wonder if anyone has this on their best game of the year list. Or, like, actually best game. Favorite. Best. Beast. Best. It's a remake. Does it count? Yeah. Resident Evil 4 counts. Oh, fuck! If it counts for you, and, you know, and the game came out. I mean, that's my personal rules. You can have your own rules. I don't, I don't really care what you do in the privacy of your own home. You want a jelk, you want a goon, whatever. Opinions on Doom 3. I only played Doom 3 on release, and I never finished it. But I enjoyed it. I just didn't think it was... It was like a survival horror first-person shooter for a good chunk of it. It didn't feel very much like Doom 1 and 2. Like I said the other night, it has been getting a re-evaluation. And now the people have turned on Doom Eternal. Which, to be fair, that game already had plenty of people dislike it on release. Oh, you car! Okay, here's my unpopular opinion. Doom 64 is the best Doom. It's probably not, but <laughs> I'm just throwing it at you. Yeah, it's a bit of a hot take. It's my favorite one because I have the most nostalgia for it. So. Someone just said being a contrarian is cool now. It's been cool for years. And it's especially cool if said contrarian things can make you money on social media. But no, Doom 64 is my favorite.
Okay, there's um, there's something in here. I really need to figure out. We need power, though. We need to get some power. Speaking of power, one more thing. I know people want me to pay attention to the game. I am. I'm enjoying it. But you know me. I'm, I'm chatty. Listen. That's part of what being a streamer is. I'm not just going to say, look, I am looking to the right now. I am looking to the left. But, speaking of, of power and low power Arnold, Arnold was on Conan. And he was like, yeah, I've got a donkey. And I feed it the cookies. I give it a little bit of cookies. The oatmeal cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. The, the donkey is, comes into the house and... And uh, by the pool, and I give him the cookies. I, I just enjoyed that. I wish I was a rich man's donkey. That's a weird chat comment. Poetic, though. And it's got a nice ring to it. It's got a nice meter to it. I wish I was a rich man's donkey. A monkey. Sitting in the club. I wish I was a little more schlongy. Find Finny post your um, hottest gaming take. Um, I think Hollow Knight's a little too long. Hope that helps. My other one is that I think Zelda 2 is a great game. A flawed but great game. But you knew that already. Oh shit, we gotta turn off the lights. Vinny, do you play Smash or Pass while playing this game? Is that the kind of content you want from me? Repair invoice. Thank you, Desert, for the raid. Desert, you will be happy to know. I'll be playing Armored Core after this. I gotta check out the uh, update to see all the nerfs, but also the buffs that they made. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the dual pistols feel like with a ton more ammo.
Press F for a quick heal. Okay, thank you. This game's got a lot of uh, atmosphere. The original had it too, but yeah, this this looks really nice. You know, when you can see it. Offhand topic, do you ever play racing games? F-099? Marior Kart? They mean not a kart racer than F099 or F0 GX. I don't I don't play a ton of racing games. Car games? No. Not really. I played Gran Turismo on the PlayStation 2. That counts back in the day. Not for years though. Nerd. Poker night. Can you not invite Pavi this time? Still blaming himself for Sorosi's accident? No one wants to hear about anyone's fucking nightmares. Especially that one where he saw Sarossi up walking about with half his head missing. I don't... It... Uh, don't give me shit about it. I'm serious. It's messing with me. Last night I had one of those dreams where you wake up, you know? When my dad was sitting next to my bed talking to me. It felt so real. I kept seeing him out of the corner of my eye all day. And trust me, that one son of a bitch... That's one son of a bitch who needs to stay dead. There's that Event Horizon stuff. Isaac, we can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. Hold on. I got the data board. I'm coming back to tram control now. Daniel, get ready to go. Upgrade weapons, unlock new upgrades, etc., etc. Looks like it's being... Uh, the upgrade system's a little different this time around, huh? Oh, no. No, it's still... It's still doing this. It's the same. Um... Hmm... Oh, you need to, okay. They got rid of having to choose to use a node to open doors, which is a big quality of life thing. Oh, okay. Okay, I do remember that. I didn't love it. But I understood it.
the game feels good to play. There's some good, some pretty decent spooks in the game so far. Yeah, the pulping is awesome. How much does this make you feel like Isaac? A regular dude in a big suit? Probably a lot. Isaac and his mother. Where are you? Fuck out of my way, ladder. So yeah, I was playing Callisto Protocol. Um, there's some videos of it on my Full Sauce channel. I never, I don't, did I stream it or did I just do pre-records chat? That was like, what, eight months ago? That was just pre-records, okay. Um, the game was very melee focused, but not in the most fun way. Like, it just felt like a slog. Visuals were good. The environments were pretty cool. But I just remember not loving the experience. I know a lot of people felt the same way. It just wasn't... Like, this game is fun to, like, actually, like, shoot the limbs off. I know pulping is awesome as a joke, but... I don't feel like I'm, like, being locked in, like, tedious melee fights that felt janky and weird. I know they updated it to make it a little bit better, but... It just, yeah, it just didn't quite come together for me. Which is a shame, because they sent me a big-ass fucking crate of, like... A replica of the stun baton. Like, I store stuff in that crate now. <laughs> I got... What else did they get me? Um, Like a lithograph? I mean, it was cool stuff. I'm sorry to say, though, not even a promo crate could keep me playing that game. Publishers love me. Complete. Weren't they going to put a Red Vox song in the trailer? No, that was a different game. I, I thought it was that game. I forgot entirely because there's just so many games. It's easy to get very confused. Um, no, there, that was a, a game called Negative Atmosphere. Fix up the Kelly. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. What protocol? Hammond, people are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. We'll see. A chat member's pigeon laid an egg. <laughs> Congratulations.
Wrong way. A good flashlight in a game like this is really, is really quite important. And I will say I like this game's flashlight. How many flashlights have you disliked? It's kind of hard to remember because I've played so many thousands of games on this stream over the years. Like Sunday stream stuff. Just horror games with really bad flashlights. I hate to say it, the Half-Life 1 flashlight's not that great. It's in my top 10 games, but I don't love the flashlight. 2 has a, has a much better one. Um, the Greyhill incident, someone said. Oh yeah, that fucking game. Oh my god. Sound design, too. What difficulty is this? I don't know. It just, the game just started. <laughs> uh, medium? I'm fine with medium. Scurred. No, I just, I would prefer to have the de facto difficulty experience. So I'm, I'm good with medium. We made it to the bridge. It's I don't need to prove I'm a gamer. You've survivor. seen me play Counter Strike. You know David how good I am. To get into the command computer. No survivors, eh? Wow. What are the odds? <laughs> Apparently pretty fucking good. Baby flip challenge. Oh, like when people try to flip the bottles of water? New trend. New TikTok trend unlocked. Dead space baby challenge. Okay, the fact that I did that two times in a row is actually quite astounding. I think. Because it's not as easy to do that as I thought it was. Yeah, no, that doesn't happen that easily. All right. Very skillful. Again, you've seen me flip baby, so you know how good I am at video games.
It's like the Mandalorian. What have you got on you? Is that good? Haley, I need you to listen. The Ishimura's overrun with the fucking monsters. You didn't hear anything? What? No, the comms are still out. Isaac. We need the Killian fixed now. Got a damage report? Uh, yeah, it, it's there. I should have been with you. Where's that damage report? Oh, it's literally right there. No, this is a good thing, actually. She dead. I can fix her. systems are locked down with the captain's codes. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. Okay. Okay, here. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location medical. Status deceased. He's a captain? God. Isaac, you're closer to medical. You can double back and cut through maintenance. Find the captain's body and get his rig. With his codes, we... What was that? <laughs> Chen? Okay, have it, run! Daniels? Have it! Shit! Chat, in Dead Space tr uh, 3. Tree. In Dead Space Tree, is it true that you would also shoot, like, dudes with guns? So, dudes with guns would shoot you, and you would shoot those dudes with guns with guns. That sounds like Dead Space. Take in over. Vinny, you made it sound dumb. Well, is it dumb? I mean, I was told not to play it. Not that I was told not to, but I, you know. I was recommended against it, and uh, I wouldn't want to waste my time. I liked the series, but I was fine to stop it, too. I know that it was um, a game that a lot of people enjoyed co-op. But, yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem like one that I would enjoy as much as the... Because I could play... So many other games to shoot. Like Resident Evil 6, I can play. <laughs> Did you like RE Village? It was alright. Yeah, I liked it. A lot of good in there. 
Speaking of Resident Evil, when are you doing the Separate Ways DLC? Yeah, I've gotten that question a lot. And, uh... November or December? Maybe. Plans on doing Lies of P. No. I like the FromSoft games. My, my default answer here is I like the FromSoft games. But not enough to want to play FromSoft style games that much. So, yeah, I'm sorry to say I won't be playing that one. I will be playing Jump Rope with Willem Dafoe's penis, however. Yeah. The people need the ear. Right, right. Ear duration. Plasma cutter only then. No. We do we do a little troll. I mean we do a little bit of both. I'll end up doing mostly plasma cutter, don't worry. I'll tell you what I need. I need a shotgun. Remember when I got a shotgun in amnesia and I used it to shoot wood? Good times. It was like it happened yesterday. I don't know why. There's something just primal about seeing... seeing corpses and wanting to stomp them. I don't know. If you like this sort of, um, going around in a spaceship type game, and shooting, check out Salako. There's a demo for it. It's made in the, like, Doom engine, and, uh, it's incredible. Visually, it looks so good. S-E-L-A-C-O. So lock on my balls. Wait. Which Doom engine? Um, uh, original Doom, but heavily modified. I think I might be. It's GZ Doom. GZ Doom sounds like a rapper. What Steam Next Fest demos are you doing? Oh, uh, this is a busy month for me, chat member. I don't know if I'll be able to. I'm gonna try to do a couple. Um, send your best recommendations to vinesauce.email. But 
I'm going to try my best to get to at least a couple, but it's going to be hard. Forgive me, Father 2 looks good. Space is a proximity mine. The alt fire. Yeah, the RoboCop game I definitely want to check out. I, I'm surprised I even want to play a RoboCop game, but I just keep hearing about it. <laughs> Deep Rock Survivors. I did play that already. So I guess I technically did play a next best game. There's some good horror looking games too. There's a, there's a couple I had my eye on, but um, I will do my best chat. Station now accessible. Thank you for your patience. So this will take me back to the first area. I need to go back to the first area. Tram is now fast travel. All the trams connect. That was the wrong button. Chat, what was the stasis button again? Not stasis, the move, kin kinetic, kinetic move. F, got it, thank you. to the morgue the morgue yeah but the barricade was evil look at that it says evil a hydrazine up top blow it open just need a detonator like maybe lacquadiv evil and cole could be through there if isaac the one who attacked us i swear to god it was chen but i saw him die if they barricaded the morgue maybe it was to keep something in Lacrative Evil 6. Did you play the Dead Space Wii game? 
I did, actually. That was actually really good. That dead space extraction. Surprisingly good. And, uh... I streamed it many years ago. That That's probably... Not, um... When I was saving my, my recordings, but... I remember enjoying it. It was like a light gun game. It was like on rails with the Wii uh, wand, the, the, the Hitachi wand from the Wii that you would use to aim to uh, shoot. Grab loose objects with kinesis, throw sharp objects at enemies to impale them. Let's see. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. RNG activated. Oh, shit. I'm looking for sharp rods, chat. I don't see any fucking sharp rods. There's a chair. I mean, that kind of did the trick. Oh, he's standing. Love dispenser. Chat, remember to use your coin gloves before touching any coins. Any loose change. Oh, I see a rod. Whoa! Oh my god, oh my god! Their arms also kind of work. You can just... just grab those and... Oh, yeah! Like Half Life 2 all over again. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. 
It's a Dead Space 2 mechanic, remember? I remember... Something like that. Kinda. You could have told me it was in the first game, I would have believed you. Tissue sample needed? Is there not enough tissue here? Here you go, here's some tissue. Things always go bad when a scientist wants to study the thing that's killing everybody. As Charlie Kelly would say, STUPID SCIENCE no BITCHES! Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero-G therapy, <laughs> patient Harris is showing improvements. If this continues, there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. However, Dr. Marsha continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Mm. Tracking rig signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Rig location? Inconclusive. Manual rig tracking is available. Isaac, are you hearing things? Isaac, are you shitting my pants? Um... Uh, me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last seminar was about heretics. How every unitologist who leaves is an enemy of humanity. Unitology is big enough to take care of itself. This is what this is about what's right for you. Just be careful. The church pulls out these tricks when they feel threatened. They have a neurophysicist neuropsychiatrics. Neuropsychiatrists, too. Even if you get out, they'll try to. Dr. Brennan, sorry, I did something happen. I had a patient who I tried, and her son tried so hard, but she I will fight for you with everything I've got, but never underestimate how strong the church's pull can be. But yeah, I mean, usually in science fiction with fucked up creatures, it's either a scientist wants to learn about it, like the, the thing that is actively killing everyone, despite it, you know, killing everyone, or the military wants it so that they can use it on, like, I don't know, Klingons or something. You ever find it funny that, like, the military is so obsessed with bio-weapon- like, actually, like, like, monster flesh things when they have nukes? I guess the nukes destroy the cities. No, no, monster flesh things are good, actually. Let me tell you why. Here's a 20-minute 20, 20 video on why monster flesh things are good.
So it wants me to go this way. It's like the military trying to weaponize dinosaurs. All right, but to be fair, you would probably weaponize dinosaurs, right? I mean, if you could. In Turok, which... When is Turok 3 coming out again? The, the remake? Is that November? But in Turok, they have dinosaurs with guns on them. That's pretty much... All I've ever wanted in life is a dinosaur with guns. I did play Dino D-Day. It's not that amazing, but it was it was fun for like an hour. I'm surprised they're doing three because three is kind of the one no one played. Three is a weird one because it's more like Half-Life than it is the previous Turok games. And it was rushed. And from what I understand, Night Dive is actually finishing the game and fleshing out some areas a little bit more. Um, and obviously the technical stuff. Um, can you get off of my... The technical stuff will be fixed as well. So, I, I think Turok 3 has potential to be good. And I'm excited for this remake. I hope I hope it is. The MRI with you. I'm sorry to say this, but your balls are huge. Oh no, Doc, is that bad? No, I mean... You're really brave. You've done a lot of cool shit. What is it like being such a giga-chad? God. Is that guy vomiting? right now. Okay, I have one nerd. No. Nerds? Yes, right. Nerds. Reload time. Uh. Yeah. Uh. 
the nerd covered ropes. I know those thick ropey nerd ropes are really um really good. Really good for your teeth too. feeling there's going to be more friends to kill in just a moment. Waste bin. Ooh. Boy, this is a nice looking video game. The diagnoses are stacking up as fast as I can file them. Sleep paralysis, hallucinations, nightmares, paranoia. I'm getting patients from all over the ship. No underlying cause is showing up in environmental analysis, foodstuffs, or radiation levels. I, I admit I'm at a loss. Mercer says he and Kine are working on a hypothesis, so in the meantime, I'm treating the symptoms. I'm seeing some improvement with the sensory deprivation treatments in our zero-G therapy pods, but the sheer number of patients we're managing bothers me. Those systems are old, and they need an overhaul. So many pods active, I worry what might happen if a serious power... There's a serious power surge down there, but nothing else seems to help. I suppose the odds are low enough. I'd rather take a small calculated risk than have dozens of miners and engineers impaired around heavy machinery. It's almost like the alien happy birthday pose. So the security clearance for some of the um, the things that you can find on the ground, that wasn't in the original, was it? I assume because now the world is a little more open, that's just like an incentive to go back and look around for stuff if you need to. fire hydrant is going to get one of those necromorphs killed. Hang. Wait a minute. Hang? Entering, Entering zero gravity. Isn't there, like, some singer named Peng? Exit 
No, I'm not talking about Kipas and Neng. I'm not talking about him. Maybe it was Ping? I mean, this is basically Iron Man now. Okay, decent, decent zero G controls. Exiting zero gravity. It's the zero G stuff from three. Oh, so they basically took the best parts of the series and just put them all in this game. From two, also. Yeah, but one had zero G stuff, didn't it? Is empty. No sign of different controls, though, right? Some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay, work fast, Isaac. Huh. In one, you can only move from wall to wall. Yeah, I have no memory of this place. Isaac, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. Entering zero gravity. Isaac, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Isaac? <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh my god, dude. I do like the zero G stuff. I think it's it's pretty good so far. I'm sure it'll get more complex later, but it uh, that was a good showcase for what maybe is in store. Um, what do we have here in terms of health? I have a little bit of health, and I have uh, some pulse rounds. I got that I can sell. Stasis pack schematics. Should check your other missions. It shut the whole ship. I'll check it out. Find a shock pad. Destroy the barricade. Well, th that's the main stuff. So here's the scientific methods. I have to destroy the barricade.
This pulse gun needs an upgrade! In space, no one can hear you pulp. That's the tagline. It is fucked up. It's not awesome. That'll solve that. I have to be more, like, cognizant of the objects in the environment around me. I didn't mean to use another health pack. Oh, man, did I... <sighs> How much health did I have before I used that? The problem is, I press F in a lot of games. You know, to press F to open things. That's going to be a problem. Maybe. I'm going to try real hard not to press the F button. Could buy a node. Where's the option to pay for resources with real money? It's weirdly missing from this game. I don't know, chat member. It's weird. A EA published this? And there's not a button that allows you to go to a store in one click? Low-hanging fruits are still fruits. John Riccatello has a lot of free time after getting laid off. Oh yeah, I didn't really talk about that. Um, I don't really have much to say about it, so that's why I didn't talk about it, but, uh, the... You, uh, Unity CEO? I forgot what it's called. I was going to call it Unido. But Unity CEO um, is gone now. So he just, like, basically is the scapegoat. Yeah, we feed the scapegoat. So, yeah, he's, he's out. I know they walked back some of their shitty practices. But... I think it's kind of the damage is too... It, it's been done, it's too late. Fuck. I didn't take any damage from that. Made sure to dump all his stock before.
um, already, so he made his money. Well, he he dumped his stock before they even announced. Is that what you're talking about? Before they announced this like weird pricing thing that they were doing? Again, from what I read, I didn't look into the situation too deeply, but from what I've read, people are saying, and again, I'm a little dumb, so please correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, it's mainly the shareholders and less to do with him specifically. So him being removed is not like he was the source of all the problems. He just had no choice. He's still a huge piece of shit. He might be, um, but he might have just been the fall guy. I guess he could have just, like... What would have been the honorable thing for him to do? Fall on his blade? Like, wharf? Or just quit before and say, Oh, here's this horrible thing that they're gonna do. I'm leaving. I think it's dumb. I'm not doing it. Congratulations, John Riccatello. You'll never be hired again. And then all this played out the way it did. Congratulations, John Riccatello. You'll never be hired again. But it just kind of goes to show you how insidious the infinite growth thing is, and, like, share shareholders desperately expecting profits to always, always increase. Like... I would imagine... even a dude like that, if he wanted to stop it, I don't know how he could have, other than just saying... Uh, shit's fucked up, I'm out. But even then, they probably still would have had to do this, because some dumbass desperately wanted to make this happen. Anyway, Unity, uh, Unity bad. Ben, what in God's name is happening down there? Precisely that. God's work. How can you say that? These deaths at the colony. The paranoia, the hallucinations. You wanted a scientific analysis? Cause and effect? Well, it all began after they raised the marker. What are you so worried about? The marker is defined. We know this. Look, it'll be on board tomorrow. You can study it then. Put your mind at ease. At ease? People are dying. How can that be the transformation the teachings promise? We're witnessing a new beginning. For unitology, for humanity, of course our faith is being tested. Everything is about to change. That's what worries me. Why did they let this be recorded? Are they They're stupid? Seal entry. Guys holding a butt plug. The vid logs from the colony are poor quality, but I've seen enough to confirm their discovery to Ben. The artifact appears to be a genuine marker, the first to be found since Unitology's founding. We must get it on board at the first opportunity so I can begin a proper study. I can't even imagine the potential of such a find. The black marker offered revelations beyond our wildest dreams, and that was without the benefits of current analytical technology. This new marker, what secrets could it have? What wonders could it offer to humanity, to the Church of Unitology, without EarthGov here to seize them first? This marker could herald the dawn of a new age. I will do my part to see that age come to pass. Maybe this is fate. In the darkest time of my life, the Church and its teachings comforted me, saved me. Now I'm here, in the right place at the right time, to be of service to all humanity, to repay those blessings. It's funny because Unitology, they worship um, John Riccatello and the Unity engine, the game engine. It's weird how that, that, that crosses over. Minus two? Alright, fine, I deserve that. What about if I told you um, I was hoping there might be a necromorph in the toilet? Would that also be a minus two?
But yeah, just to close out the Unity thing, I think it is a really good engine, and, you know, they were making money, and if they needed to make a little bit more money, maybe they could have found a way that didn't actually, like, fucking tank their company. But they had a good product, and thus they made many millions. And I think that's fine. It's just, I still am so baffled by the decisions that they made. I see still so many companies very clearly saying, yeah, no, we've already moved on to Godot. We're using a different game engine. Unity's gone. We're not doing that anymore. So yeah, I, all I'm trying to say is I think too little too late. Um, is it worth upgrading the pulse rifle? I kind of want more damage. Is that how you say Godot? Is it Godot? It's... Godot, as in waiting for Godot. Yeah. Gado? We just have to wait for John Godot, or Gado, or Godot, from, you know, the company to tell us how to say it. Remember these fuckers. Ooh. Oh shit, baby lab. Quick, get the flash, I'll save him. Level three security clearance required. Any microwaves? Zoe, specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took priority over cornea. D. Here's your clerical error. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase. One didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to a vital personnel. It's not worth the headache to push back on it, trust me. And before you think about filling an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates. Shit rolls downhill. Zoe. Hippocr- <laughs> Hippocrates. <laughs> it's Hippocrates. <laughs> Hippocrates. I tried to give it a high five. Babies! There's babies here! Oh, 
Oh, they're creepy as fuck, this game. Remember when you played this the first time with 60 FPS and it broke the ragdoll? Yeah, kinda. Now that you say it, I remember. Daniels isn't answering her rig link. What's your status? I found a shark pad I can use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. Vinny, have you ever farted so hard we could hear it on stream? No, never. What kind of question is that anyway? What do you what do you want to know that for? Chat, what if I told you that my butt is in an echo chamber, a reverb chamber, separate from my body? Like, it's just half of me is out of the reverb chamber, and the other half is in. And every time you hear fart with reverb, it is that. But yeah, to answer your question, no, I've, I've never, I've never done that. <clears throat> Usually people don't hear it when it happens, you know? But I'm also a streamer and not a real person. I'm just a voice on the internet. So no, I don't, I don't actually do those things. All right, chat. I want to play Armored Core. I want to take a break from uh, this for a moment. Until next time. So far, so good. This is great. It feels like Dead Space. It's a lot of fun to play. There's some quality of life stuff from what I remember from five years ago, which isn't a lot, granted. But game is quite good. It looks great, sounds great. It got a number of um, reactions out of me. It probably doesn't smell that great, but it is dead space. Thoughts on the rewritten dialogue so far? I don't... I don't remember the <laughs> original dialogue. But yeah, this is a really solid remake, and, uh... Resident Evil 4, I've played through the original version of that maybe, like, seven or eight times. So I remember more of that compared to me remembering more of this. So that remake, I was able to be a little bit better of a judge, but, um... All I know is, I'm having a great time. So... Look forward to more of this. Perfect game for October. Glad I saved it. And, uh, you know, when I finish this game... We'll do more things. But, we're gonna take a quick break. And I will be back with Armored Core 6.
So, uh, chat, have I played Obscenery by Queens of the Stone Age on a BRB? But was it that specific one, though? I don't think I did. I played a bunch, but I don't know if I played that one. I've just been, I've been thinking about that one, so I'm going to play it. All right. This is from their new album. It's called 